happy first stream of this year. It has literally been forever. Hello. Oh gosh, you can see all my <laughs> my test messages. Hi, Zoe. Welcome in. 24. I didn't even hear the alert. Did you guys hear the alert? I was going to say that I think my audio is like probably really fucked up right now. Um, because I haven't streamed in a long time and I've been finicking with my microphone a lot um, for YouTube filming so you heard it I want to do it again because I didn't see it hello I didn't the hear it at all to conclude. but I see it two years okay let me see maybe is it muted for me alerts no it should be it should be both that's so weird but anyways Thank you. What the heck? I was I was wondering because I had that set up and I was like, is anyone even at two years? Like, I don't even know how I don't even know how long it's been. I'm like, how many months? To, like, what is the max? I don't even know anymore. Well, hello, welcome. I yeah, it's been like two months since I streamed. Um, it doesn't. It feels like it's been forever. I didn't I didn't even like realize it's been that long, um, but it has. But it's been a nice, um, it's been nice to take a break. Hi, Ness, welcome in. How are you doing? Hello, hello. So good to talk with you. I've missed streaming so much. It's been, yeah, it, oh, I'm looking over. I have my game set up. Crazy bread is here. Our time has come, yay. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I needed a break because I feel like I burn myself out too easily and kind of yeah one of my big goals for this year has been just taking things slower and not putting weird um, like expectations on myself like I always felt guilty if I didn't stream every single week and it's like why should I feel guilty you know if I'm tired Asuhi, say hello, hello, little Nez family. Hello, hello, sending all the loves, all the hugs. But yeah, I, I, you know, I still love streaming and I've missed it so much. But yeah, I, I feel like I, it is tiring and I burn myself out way too easily. So it's been nice having a break. I'm really excited to be here today, hang out with you all. I've totally redone all my overlays, if you can't tell. Um, I kind of just this one is not like this is not my favorite i want it to be a little different but room aesthetic on point yeah it's just plushies literally like all you can see is like my kind of poorly made bed that i slapped together because i realized oh shit you guys can see my room in the back <laughs> and then a million plushies um i also i don't know if it looks funny or if it looks nice um because my lighting is always fucked up it's ridiculously bright coming through my window but I want to leave it open because I like having sunshine and my cat likes having sunshine. He's sleeping on the floor next to me. He's a little baby. I'm going to I'm going to pick up the camera and see if I can get him. <gasps> oh, to get around the camera arm. Look at him. Oh my god, why is this so difficult? He's there though. A little blob on the ground. I need a cat cam. Honestly, I need a camera just focused on him because he loves he always just curls up right next to my desk whenever I'm sitting at my desk <laughs> He wants to be included that is definitely not how you spell included, but I still knew what you meant <laughs> um, But yeah, um, so I wanted to leave the window open for him But then the lighting is crazy like you can tell it's really bright on this half of my face and then dark here But I'm honestly so over putting on like my ring light and having it like blasting in my face because it really doesn't do anything so I just messed like with the contrast and stuff and like the saturation so it's a little desaturated like the colors are not as vibrant um, as they should be but it's kind of nice it's kind of a it's kind of a mood it's like I'm streaming with an Instagram filter um yeah it's called con it's called contouring yeah exactly I just like a really intense contour you know, some people do like to highlight their cheekbones. I just like to do half and half. That's my look. <laughs> That's my aesthetic I go for. Yes, I am so ready. I have tea 
it's kind of getting to the lukewarm phase, so I'm gonna be chugging it kinda, cause I, I can't stand when hot drinks go cold or when cold drinks go warm, I can't do it. Like if a drink is meant to be like room temp, I can do it, but whenever is a, when is a drink actually room temp though? It has to be hot or cold. I don't like in the middle. I am having just good old, my go-to breakfast tea. It's just Earl Grey with a little bit of oat cream. I ran out of my Earl Grey, so I had a couple days where I didn't have tea and I feel like I've been dying <laughs> without it. Um, Cause instead I've been drinking coffee and I don't like coffee straight up. And the only cream we had to put in it was peppermint mocha, which I also don't like. So yeah, I've been having like nasty peppermint mocha for coffee the last few days. Just, I don't like it. I know some people do. But yeah, I'm very happy to have my tea. Um, I usually stock up and get like giant boxes and I'll like put the tea bags into this little container and then I just refill it. And I went to refill the container just like I want to drink coffee again my body says no honestly like whenever I pour a cup of coffee like it sounds good but then I start drinking it and I'm like my whole body's shaking and honestly I just like tea is just so much sweeter like I'll drink a cup of tea and I'm like this is so much sweeter I don't know what I think Zoe just I think Zoe is like me I feel like we all have in the family the issue of you drink a cup of coffee and then you're just like None of us handle caffeine well. Um, yeah. Although I can drink a ton of tea. I know it's not as much. I don't know. It's like I drink a ton of tea, which you think it's a lot of caffeine, but it doesn't affect me the way coffee does. The 1% that doesn't put cream or sugar in my tea. Most teas I drink plain. Like if I'm having a green tea or an herbal tea, I like it plain. But with my breakfast tea, I like a little cream. Yeah, anxious or tummy issues. Yeah, I think that's me too. It's just acidic. Um, like usually tea kind of helps settle my stomach, but then coffee, my stomach will be like, Bleh. especially if I haven't eaten anything. Like I feel like if I'm going to have coffee, I have to have like a big breakfast with it. If I just drink coffee plain, I will feel awful. <laughs> um, I'm very weak. Casper is so sweet right now. He's just laying on his back. He was a menace this morning. He was insane. Um, running around freaking out like kicking at my legs and my feet um, he stole a blueberry um, and proceeded to play with it and swat it all over like I woke up and sat up and there's just a blueberry on the floor in my room and I was like he also then proceeded to crush it on my carpet so I now have a blueberry stain on my carpet which is great because I literally just borrowed my sister's carpet cleaner so I just cleaned the carpet and there's now a blueberry state. <laughs> yeah, I like matcha. My thing is I have to put so much sugar into my matcha because I don't like it plain that it's like too much sugar for me. Um, although this probably has a lot of sugar in it too. Um, but yeah, I, I think I'm gonna just switch over to the game screen. I have it over and I've been watching Shep walking back and forth for like 10 minutes. I am ready for this island, you guys scooch over can we also take a moment to appreciate this overlay <clears throat> I've been wanting to redo my overlays forever and I finally worked on it I bought this adorable how do I point these little flowers in the corners and then I'm experimenting with something I've never done um, the game is full screen usually I have it like cropped in a little box I, I kind of like the aesthetic of it being full screen like this the only thing is then my face and the messages are covering like half of the game. Um, but realistically, you only need to look in the very center of the game. You don't need, it doesn't matter what's on the edges. I've been craving matcha since the Discord conversation. Stunning overlay. Yeah, I kind of like it. Um, and yeah, my biggest beef is just the messages cover a lot, but I like having them. I want feedback actually if people like the messages especially like my thought is when I upload these streams to YouTube um, you can't see the chat like if you watch the stream on Twitch like after it's aired you can see the live chat but there's no way to like save it that I know of for YouTube and for me personally I'm like I like to see the context um, of like what are people talking about but 
I'm interested what you all think to putting this out there for the future for I'm, I'm gonna put this on YouTube so if you're watching this on YouTube right now in the future in my future your present I want to know do you guys want the messages here do you want to know um, you know do you want to know what we're saying or are you just like whatever um, yeah, because I remember I used to, the reason I got into Twitch was I was watching Misha Crossing would put her Twitch VODs on YouTube. And when she'd be on her just chatting screen, there, it didn't show the chat. And I was like, who the fuck is she talking to? Because like, I didn't understand Twitch. I didn't understand live streams. It's like, what is going on? But then um, when she was on the game screen, I could see the messages. And I was like, oh, okay, this helps. But yes, okay, you're all freaking out. <clears throat> oh my God enough talk about me and my uh constant finicking with my overlays my island yes um she is here let me go to the front of the island and yes we're gonna show the map here she is here she be good old lavand um as you can see we already have a lot of terraforming and houses move I decided because you can terraform with the modding tools um, and it goes way faster. I just wanted to get some of the work done, like, so I don't have to painstakingly, like, dig the rivers one by one. Um, it's kind of hard to get the fine tuned details. Like, you see down at the bottom, and I will show you, I have that cliff with all the waterfalls. I don't really like how it looks. Like, I tried doing it in the modding software and it just looks very boxy. So, when it comes to like getting the perfect shape of everything down, I'll probably do a lot of my own terraforming, like the normal way. But yeah, the modding software was nice just to real quick. I didn't want to spend like an hour of stream just building a river. So I got that done. And then I vaguely have villagers placed. I kind of like can already envision the whole island. Um, this is what I have. I might switch people out if I change my mind, but um, We've got Agnes and then Chevra and Nan in the back. I'm gonna have a lavender field back there by their um, houses. Rodeo is up front here. And then we've got Kid Etoile. I'm potentially gonna switch to Willow. because so I feel like Etoile is a little too pastel. Um, I've also, I should say for people who don't know, this is a, a French countryside meadowcore kind of island, very inspired by like uh, Provence, like south of France, just like the countryside. So yeah, think like lavender fields and just very farmy energy. But I was looking up photos of Provence for inspiration and they also have a lot of sunflower fields, like not just lavender. So I'm like, if I did a sunflower field, I could have willow. Speaking of sunflowers, my, my favorite little sunflower yellow bean. Hello, Leah! welcome in the royalty is back <laughs> hail the true ruler oh my god welcome in bean how have you been i feel like i haven't talked to you in like a decade so how are you what is happening yeah terraforming really fast is nice although i'm still lazy like holding down the <laughs> hold you have to hold down your mouse to like do on the modding software and my fingers will start to hurt so I have to I have to suffer for it but it's worth it but yeah and then Becky is up front here and Annalise and then little Shep um, and yeah you'll also see I messed around I didn't do this on eggnog but I messed around with this island you can change like the, the acres so you'll notice I have two peninsulas on this island and a fuck ton of rocks and there are also three river outlets and then my airport might look a little funny. Um, this is not the usual airport entrance. I actually did this by mistake. I thought I was doing it correctly. But um, this is actually um, like when you go to a cabin tour, when you get off the boat, it looks like this. Um, I did it by mistake, but I think it looks cute. Yes, and the hair and the ears. This is Noemi. She's my character I made. I do want to make a dress for her. I'm planning on making my own custom code dress, but this is a pretty solid dress in the meantime. I'm so busy. I feel like I don't know what anyone is doing anymore. I'm just, I'm just working and not finishing video games. I still, I st I'm so stressed. I haven't, I don't know why I'm stressing about games, but I haven't finished Pokemon. 
I haven't finished Kirby, and there's a new Kirby coming out next month, I realized. Um, Tears of the Kingdom is only a few months away. Still have not finished Breath of the Wild. I'm like, oh my god. So yeah, that's me. Um, stressing about video games and working. I know, I want this in the game for real. Like, come on. I love the, I love the long hair mod. It's a little... It looks a little stiff, like, around the ears. Like, I wish it flowed out more, but I don't even know how the fuck people make mods like this. I was like, I'm going to make my own mods. And I think I spent, like, 20 minutes looking at Blender to try to make a 3D model. And I was like, yeah, I can't do this. Um, I also am a little confused. You can see... Actually, maybe you can't see because I have so much shit on my, my overlay now. But the airplane is brown and beige. All of my buildings are like aesthetic beige, but for some reason the airport is still green. I'm gonna have to figure it out. I don't know why it's green. I have like 10 plus indie games I wanna play and I just barely have time to play anything. I gotta put school and work first. Ugh, I know. I'm like, ugh, I hate being an adult where you don't, you can't just spend all day on your hobbies. But yeah, so this is with the island. This is how my buildings are looking. We got this like aesthetic beige neutral uh, nooks cranny. And I love this. I Okay, I originally had the island in September, but I didn't like the nooks cranny was then all fall and orange. Um, and I didn't like that. And then I tried summer, but it, I still just didn't like the summer grass. I'm now in May. I just moved it. I think this is, I like this color of uh, grass. I'm definitely gonna like it. I know we need it in game. Also, yes, these are all my codes that I'm using on the island. I just, uh, I have such a like strong vision of this island. I feel like I'm going to finish. This is going to be one of those islands that I finish really fast. And the white cliffs. This is the thing I'm like most mad about. When I saw like the Happy Home Paradise trailers and we saw the like the glowing moss islands with the white cliffs, I thought that we were going to be able to change our cliffs on our own island. I'm like, I want white cliffs on Peach. But they didn't give that to us. I'm like, I want it. Yeah, this is the terraforming. I did it with the modding software and I kind of hate it. It's just so blocky. I love that kid like already wants to move off my island over there. He's been here for like a day. I know, I was like, where's my white cliffs? I mean, this is okay. It's just definitely very blocky, like the way the waterfalls are. So I'll probably mess with this. I don't think I'm going to do that on stream, though. That might be off stream because I might actually lose my mind trying to make it look good. And then, yeah, just real quick. I will show the other buildings. The museum, it's uh, redone to look like a library. Um, so that'll be fun. And then our soft, aesthetic little Able sisters. Oh my God. I said I want to get rid of a Twalk. She's so pastel, but she's so freaking cute. She's so cute. <clears throat> getting off the train go be safe don't i was gonna say go get off the train that felt so uh, aggressive go be safe go get home walk home bike home however however you're getting there i'm assuming walking but yeah i'll see you soon i know it is so cute but she's like maybe a little too pastel for this island and then yeah finally resident services um I'm really struggling with the whole the boxes keep floating i like can't get it to not float i think i need to move the building back one but yeah so that's that's my reality right now there's also somewhere i think over in here yeah there's one just sitting here what do you want kid you've been here for like two days don't go my beloved kid. I'm so excited to have him. I was like a hardcore kid stan in the New Leaf days. Um, <laughs> the possessed boxes. Oh my god, that Epo. But yeah, I don't I don't know why I was just obsessed with kid. Oh yeah, Red is here. I think it's his first time. I think I saw on the title screen at one point he was just like walking around. So we'll see. Maybe we'll see him. Yeah, I am ready to start the entrance. And yeah, I have installed a bunch of mods, but I haven't actually looked at them yet. Like with eggnog, I kind of set them all out so I could visualize them. I have yet to do that. Maybe I could do, I don't want to lay them all out right away. It's going to be a little intense, but yeah, 
are some seriously cute mods I installed. But I do want to be a little bit less crazy with the modding on this island. I feel like eggnog was too much because there's not enough Christmas items. So it was just like all mods. And I was like, this is overwhelming. Okay, I feel really illegal doing this. Sorry, work on Magnolia. No worries. I cannot wait to see. I feel bad digging this up, but I d there's no point in doing it. I don't need the money. I feel awful, but. <laughs> Hello, Chris. Welcome in. How are you doing? I need. I feel. Okay, let me actually get the modding stuff hooked up. Connect. I was like, I need to get out my storage and eat fruit. And I'm like, wait, I can just do this. Boop. And my stomach's full. We want to wait. It feels like it started out great, but now it's kind of off. I'm obsessed with your island. I think you're a big fat liar. No offense. Whenever you say your island is bad, they're not bad. They're good. Yes, how are you, Chris? How are you doing? It's so nice chatting with everyone again. It's been like centuries, I feel like. Um, I'm just gonna start in. I don't know if I can place paths normally with the way this entrance is. Oh, okay, it will let me, cool. I My vision is having like a little path and then a big uh, round circular path maybe. And then just, um, I'm gonna put a bridge here. I still need to set it up. I like to place the bridges manually because it takes me like five years to get them placed right in the with the mods. So I'm going to be doing that by hand. I was working on Overgrown Island, which after three months of not playing is probably just flowers everywhere. Oh, God. Yeah. Coming back to an island after a while and it's just flowers. But I love Overgrown Islands. Oh my goodness. I actually just finished it. Fin it finish it? Finish it? I speak English. I just finished editing um, a YouTube video that's going to go up hopefully tomorrow morning. Um, and it's like a very pretty overgrown green island. I feel like we're all just going to be crying. Because I was crying touring it. I was like, wait, I want to destroy my island now. I'm like, this is so good. Also, you're not insane. They are different. Um, I actually did this by mistake because I was moving the airport and I was trying to figure out how to move the little plot of land where the airport sits. And by mistake, instead of doing the usual one, this is actually the cap and tour one. I don't know if you can tell, but there's actually a second dock underneath the airport dock. Uh, like you can see there's the three little uh, like here, right below where she's standing. There's like an extra dock. There's actually the cap and boat dock <laughs> underneath the airport. Um. um, yes, Chris, this is modded. I, I'm an evil, terrible modder and I do, I do spicy things. So yeah, the hair and the ears. Um, I did that with the power of the, the power of the spice. <laughs> You know, I actually want to do, yeah, I want to do like a round path here and then maybe put like a well in the middle of it. No, not camera. Yeah, I'm just, I'm excited. I've had this island idea for ages. Like I was already thinking and planning about this island like last summer when I was working on last summer. I was like, as if it's summer right now. Um, but like last summer when I was working on like mochi, I was thinking about this one. I was like, maybe next summer I'll do it. And yeah, it's definitely not summer right now, but we're just gonna do it. Um, Cause yeah, I have several ideas I wanna do with all the mods. Um, I'm probably most excited to do modded fairy core, but I kind of want to hold off on that because I'm still trying to finish peach. And I feel like if I work on a modded fairy core island at the same time that I'm doing a not modded fairy core, I'm gonna get sad. <laughs> so I'm like, I need to like have Peach mostly done before I consider doing like a ridiculous modded one. Not that path. Doing the dirt. 
But yeah, I just like randomly, I wasn't, I was actually like telling myself like, oh, I don't need to start a new island immediately. Like I was maybe gonna give myself a month or two before I launched back in, but I just suddenly got really inspired to do this. So and I started it. I'm ready to time travel out of the snow. I am too. I'm so over it. Like between working on this island now and then my dream island tour I did yesterday, I'm like, I get so depressed looking at Peach. And it's just, it's just, um, it's just snow. I figure I will do, I'll probably do it this next weekend on Peach, skip ahead. Just cause I think, not tomorrow, what day? Monday, I think? Monday is Flurry's birthday. So I have to celebrate her birthday. And then my birthday is next Thursday. Uh, so I'll probably want to celebrate that. But then probably after my birthday is done, I'll just jump ahead to, I'll probably just honestly go straight to April. I'm like, screw March. We're going to April. I want cherry blossoms. Which, yeah, I'm, I might, I'm hoping I might stream again next weekend. It really just depends on if I'm busy or if things come up. Um, I don't know if I was really going to do like a whole birthday party thing. I know the last couple of years I usually host an event on my island. I don't know if I have the, the mental capacity for that right now, but it would be fun just to like stream and hang out and chat with you all as like a belated birthday thing. Okay, let's see. Does this look okay? You know what, let's, I was gonna say, let's make this a single tile. I don't have a single tile like the single with skinny paths. Also, everyone please let me know how the audio sounds. Um, no one has said that they can't hear me, but like, how's the music? How is my voice? Um, Cause yeah, when I was editing my YouTube video this morning, my microphone audio was like fucked up. Like it was, I had to turn it all the way up to hear myself and it's still in a couple parts really hard to hear. So I'm a little bummed. So yeah, the video might be a little hard to listen to, but there will be subtitles as always. That is always an option. But yeah, I don't know what I did. I like, I goofed something up. Let's see. Yeah, I freaking love this dirt path. But yeah, I'm like, Audio sounds good to me, but I'm like, can y'all even hear? Is it even on? Do I even have it as a source? Okay, it looks like it's playing, but it might be really quiet. So if y'all can't hear the lo-fi music, let me know. There should be music playing. I will feel bad. I should have asked sooner. I will feel bad if you've all just been sitting in like dead silence. I randomly missed a spot. Okay, this is very cute. And then yeah, I'm like, I can have the path extend over here to where the bridge will be. I'll probably wanna place the bridge before I build the path to it. And then we'll have another one. We've got, I think this was Rodeo's house? Yeah. And then Nook's. So we'll probably have a little windy twisty path around here too. Maybe I actually wanna, I don't like how this looks. Let me mess with it. so that it's actually like going to where it's gonna go. I can hear okay, sometimes the video freezes, that might be on my end, my laptop's getting old and slow. Yeah, let me know if it is, I don't think it's, I don't think it's me, cause it's saying I have, saying I haven't dropped like any frames, which is kind of surprising. Um, I'm like, the juicy, the juicy PC should be fine. Although when I when I like switch back and forth like with the modding stuff, I don't know if having like all the pro I have like several things in the background right now. I have like Spotify, I have Chrome open. So I'm like, it might be a little buffery. But yeah, definitely not as bad. I was watching the other day some like really old clips from like old streams, like from the summer that I first started, and there was one from like a Zelda stream, and I was like it was so bad it was so buffery it was like you couldn't even see what i was doing you could just hear my voice but like everything was frozen i was like how did y'all watch that 
Is it of a waste? If I speed run the DLC, I realize I've never made it far enough to work on island homes. I mean, if you really want to do it, I say go for it. I actually need to do it on uh, this island myself. Um, because I do want to do the villager exteriors. I know there's ways you can do it just using modding, but I don't know how to do it. And I've also like, there's been a couple things that I've like cheated on using the mods and then it like kind of screws me over. Um, like I kind of messed up. I can't, I don't have the, the, the item wheel like for your equipment. I have to just manually click left and right or go to my pockets and I can't figure out how to fix it. I also in my custom codes app, I don't have the option to check the, the kiosk. And I'm like, I don't know what I did. So I'm like, I, I might have to actually just speed run it the normal way because I don't want to fuck it up. I think it's 25 or 30. It's been a while since I played. It's one of the two. Is it 20? It might be 25. I know it's in that range. All right. I, I have speed. Speed run it. Speed ran before. It's like not awful. If you do it like while you're watching a movie or something or you have like TV on, it's not that bad. 30. Yeah, I know it's somewhere in there. I want to it might be 30. That sounds right. Yeah, I Yeah, I need to work on that. Yeah, I end up not playing on this Switch a ton anymore because I have to be on my PC for the mod stuff, but I keep forgetting there's stuff that I want to do that doesn't need mods. Like, oh, if I want to just terraform or lay paths or, yeah, speedrun Happy Home, I can just play, like, handheld. It's very cute. It's a little, a little plain. I might mess with this path at some point, make it more elaborate, but we're going to go with this for now. Okay, let's see. I want to grab, where am I going, hello? Let me grab like a well. Let's see, simple well. Oh, it doesn't come in different colors. Or what's the other one? There's like the, oh, the brick well. I'm gonna look at that and see what color I prefer. path is so lovely isn't it i love it a little per whenever i saw this i was like if i ever do like a lavender france island i have to get it hmm i want to go more gray or more brown let me look what's the brick path that i have okay great none of them match it <laughs> do i like the gray or the brown I might do the gray up front. The brown one might look better, like, in a more farmy area, like, actually by someone's house. But I think that's good for now. Okay, let's see. I, f I, need, I need trees. I, f I start to get, like, I need to have a tree. I'm like, I, I need plants. I need bushes. I'm starting to feel weird not having any plants. We're gonna grab some different sizes. Medium. And then. Let's see. Yeah, let's just start with like regular, good old, good old classic trees. Let's see, what size? What is the medium? I don't remember what any of them look like. Medium. Okay, that's the little one. I'm thinking maybe a little bit bigger one back here. Let's see. Did I not grab one that... I didn't grab any of the ones that say large young below. There we go. Okay, that's a little bit. Oh my god, I I as so miss. I need to time travel out of winter. I've missed seeing the trees. This being this beautiful shade of green. It's so nice. Okay, I think that's cute. Hmm. I'm 
and start doing, okay, we're gonna go, this island is just gonna be like purple hyacinth, purple hyacinth core. That's the, that's the real theme of this island. So many hyacinths. Cause it's the closest thing we have to like a lavender-y flower. Okay, I don't know what kind of bush I want to use. If what am I thinking? Like the what are those new ones? The plumeria, white plumeria bush. Some speckles of white. Ooh, I like that idea. Like a good, like a white cosmos. Love me some white cosmos. Maybe let's. Drop one here. Ooh. I like, you know, I'm gonna, I know it doesn't really matter. I'm swapping them the other way around. So the white cosmos here. White hyacinths and tulips. I, I don't know. I honestly, I don't know if I, the white hyacinths are all right. I definitely like the white tulips and cosmos the best. Maybe we'll do it like that. I feel like I wanna put like an item here. Like I might do like a little stool for like an actual like decorative item. I think a bush would look cute here. Are the plumerias even in bloom? I don't remember. Okay, no, so they're not in bloom. What would be in bloom in May? Is it the azalea? I don't think the azaleas. Let me see, is it azalea? or is it the hibiscus? If it's hibiscus, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deal with that because I don't want yellow. Let me see. Pink, orange, yeah, pink hyacinths are probably my number one. I have a feeling it's gonna be, oh no. What the heck is in, is it the, that's not even fully grown. What am I doing? <laughs> pink azalea bush. I'm like, what is blooming right now? That's so weird. What would be in bloom for May 1st? Although I think the, the azaleas are actually really pretty color, like the leaves. So I'll maybe use some of those. And then I do like, maybe they just have to grow in. I don't know. I'm like, what is blooming this time of year? I have no freaking clue. I am a fake Animal Crossing fan. That's like the one thing that I never know, like what is blooming when. You know what, I feel like this is too many trees. I might want, I do want it to be fairly meadow core, so I don't want it to have as many like heavy, like dense like trees and tons of cliffs. I know I have a couple cliffs now, but hmm. Maybe do I want to do some cedar trees? Would that look cute? At least like one or two. I want some like contrast somewhere in here. Let's try one here. Hmm. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm like, do I like it? Oh, there's red. I was like, where is he? I know he's like here somewhere. I also need to see if I can put flowers up here. Can I fit? Oh my gosh, I can dig right here. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah, I want, usually my entrances are like really, okay, it's driving me insane that there's two white ones and two purple like in a row. Let's swap that around. <laughs> I'm too picky. You know what, maybe I'll try a different white flower as well, like a white tulip maybe. Cause yeah, those are my other wh favorite white flowers for sure. Um, okay, yeah, that looks nice. But yeah, I wanted this island to just be very natural when you enter. I didn't want it to be like, you know, most usually I do crazy grand entrances. I think I might want a tree stump right here. That could be really cute. I might chop a cedar tree. I don't even have an ax. 
Let's see. It's a little, a little stumpy. I just want it very like, I like islands where you just enter and you're just instantly like, it's not some crazy entrance. It's like, you're just, you're just there in like the middle of the countryside. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I feel like I suddenly like just playing right now. I'm like, I suddenly don't remember any items that exist in this game. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I also have all these custom codes I can use. So I want to remember that I can place some codes down. Yeah. Like when, yeah. Neighborhood entrance. Yeah. Which I do have a lot of houses right up front. So I kind of like that. It's like, you're just in the middle of this little quaint farming village right off the bat. Like, should I put like, no, I don't know. Hmm. The way that my brain is like already, the juice has already left my brain. I'm already like, I don't know what I'm doing. More bushes, honestly, yeah, just very natural. Lots of plants. Why do I keep doing the, the baby one? I need to get rid of that. Let's see, I'm kind of tempted. Should I start? I don't even place paths so quickly. I just, I don't know. Well, part of it, like, part of it is that, like, I had a lot of experience in New Leaf because, you know, this was the only way to, the only way you could place a path was by going into your codes and hitting display on ground. So I'm really good at visualizing, like I know all the, where they will place. I know some people struggle like, oh, they want to place one here and then it places like over here. But I don't know. I just, I just like doing really squiggly paths. That could be, I could do a video on that. I've been trying to think of more like YouTube video ideas. I could do a, I do want to film more for this island I always say oh, I'm gonna film so many videos and speed builds and then I post like one video for each island and I'm like what have I done see so, yeah, I might want to I could do that be like oh how I do my paths um, I'm like is it is it our I, I feel bad I'm like is it already time for me to start looking at modded stuff I'm, I'm feeling the urge I haven't actually looked at any of my mods I downloaded the only ones I've seen are like all the color ones. Like, obviously, like I saw my Nooks and Crannies a different color. But I haven't experimented like, oh, like the furniture items and stuff. Maybe. Like, I kind of want to put a little stool somewhere. Like, what should be on the stool, though? I'm like, do we do more of a basket? Which I think I, I think I have a command. Do I have a command? Okay, yeah. Let me know if that doesn't work, but I should have a list. Yeah, I, I let me look. Maybe it's time to, to dig out the first, first couple of mods. Let's see here. Let's see here. Oh, let me also make it smaller so I can actually read chat. Let's see. So this mod replaces the gray babooshes. None of these look gray to me. I'm guessing, is is this gray? <laughs> is this gray? We're about, I guess, moment of truth. Oh, <gasps> yes. Oh my goodness. This was honestly, when I saw this mod, that was what got me really hyped for doing a France island. The freaking cypress trees. Oh, I love it. Nintendo needs to give us more tree shapes in the next game. And I'm hoping that that's, that's kind of in the works for them because like, there's so many trees on Pocket Camp. Like differently shaped trees, there's like, uh, ginkgo trees, there's maple trees. They did give us like the kind of dead trees in this game, which is cool. But yeah, I'm like next Animal Crossing game, they need to give us more. Isn't it pretty? Okay, yeah. I'll probably be using those a lot. Let me see, what do I have in the way of like, yeah, I have a lot of, I don't even remember what they look like, floral buckets. I don't know what that looks like, but I wrote it down. 
what does this look like? Is it literally a, it's literally a bucket with flowers. Oh, that might be, that would look cute here. Ooh, I think that's cute. Or I don't know if that should sit on the ground. I have some book ones too, that I've been dying to look at. Where are they? Let's see, book, book with cup and flowers, book with magnifying glass. Here, the fish trophy, silver. It's so weird what the items replace. I may die now for how amazing, they're truly beautiful. Which yeah, my spreadsheet has, I have links to where I got them. Oh, um, I love this, but I don't know about the, cu <laughs> the cup floating on it. Um, that would look good sitting on like a picnic blanket on the ground, not, Yeah, so th there's credit for all the people who made, because I don't know how the fuck people do this. I tried making, I wasn't even trying to make a model. I was trying to recolor. I wanted to recolor the castle walls to look like gingerbread so I could build a giant gingerbread castle. And it was not, it was not doing it. I know the trees are really great. There's a lot of crazy ones. I've seen some people with giant like willow trees. I don't know if I want to do that. I'm trying to pick ones that look a little more like realistic. Like this is maybe a little too textured for the game. Oh, you know what? You guys are going to, you know, let me find this one. The, the real crazy one. Outdoor sandals. This is probably the, the most wild out there mod that I downloaded, but I feel like I have to do it. Let's see how it looks. Oh, it's kind of like flickering. Y'all see that? The windows are like flashing. So it's a little wonky. I could probably put trees in front of that and you'd never notice. But hello. Literally stunning. I need to look, I think there's different colors. Um, okay, so that was the blue sandals. Isn't it insane? Oh, okay, this is more green. It is huge. It's also funny since it's replacing sandals, you can like go inside because it's technically only taking one tile of space. Okay, I think I like the green one better. I wanna see what all the colors are. Wait, oh, that's just part, I was like, what's this? Is this part of the, the house? Hello, Chloe, welcome in. We're, we're doing crazy things. Looking at it, I'm like cute. I'm having a moment looking at this because I was like, how the fuck do people build this? I know some people use stuff from The Sims. I am almost positive those windows are from The Sims. I am like certain that those are in the cottage living pack. And that balcony, I wonder if they built this in The Sims and then ported the whole thing. So those doors look like they're in The Sims too. I'm gonna have to look. Yeah, it looks like I'm pretty sure. I'm like, those look like the cottage living windows. So they probably maybe made this in The Sims and then ported it, which I'm like, I need to figure out how to do that because I've been obsessed with The Sims lately. Okay, the, the, those don't do anything. I don't know how many color variants there were. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying to stick to ones that look, okay, I think those are the only two actually, but I like this green one. I don't know if I'm gonna leave this house here or if I want it somewhere else. I don't know if I even, what I, I'm like, oh, should I tuck it in, like have some of these sitting next to the real villager home so that it looks like, oh, they have neighbors. Casually picks up a whole mansion, right? Ugh, let me just pick up this house. Imagine if you could do that, like when you want to move a villager home, you could just be like, let me just yoink your whole house for a moment. Okay, yeah, I have no idea where to put it, but I'm gonna put some of those somewhere at a certain point. I don't want to go too crazy and just have like 75 giant houses everywhere. 
I'm back at home, but I feel really sick. Oh, I'm so sorry, Leah. Yeah, stay, stay cozy, snuggle up, drink some water. Do what you gotta do. <gasps> we can wear, oh my God, yes, wait. You're right, Zoe, you're right. This is the fun thing with model swaps. If it's replacing clothing, <laughs> this is like a this is like a horror movie right here. I saw some people saying like, "Oh, we should make model swaps of Mario Kart, and then you could do Mario Kart races." I know. Someone clip it. I'm just casually. No, I fully think they made this in The Sims. This is a Sims house right here. Excuse me. That roof trim. That wind. I use those little square windows all the time. They made this in The Sims. I love that for us. Okay, I'm gonna freak out. Let me put the regular shoes back on. Okay, back to normal. Talk about a mobile home. Oh my God. <sighs> it's too much. It's too much. <laughs> Hello, Nightbot. Welcome in. I love that we're an hour into stream it's been an hour that's been like 20 minutes we're an hour into stream and nightbot is just now saying welcome in the peachiest stream on all of twitch you're damn right okay i still haven't figured i still haven't figured out what's going on this duel um i've spent like way too long just like look at this house Some of these I genuinely don't know what the fuck they look like. Like the way I described them, I'm like, what is this supposed to look like? I'm like, a bucket. Should I, let me, should I just do that flower bucket? Cause I was like, oh, do I want to put that there? <clears throat> let me just do it. I think it was the fish trophy. That's the book. What did I, what was the? A bucket for water, or I could just do a plain, you know what, let me just do a plain bucket, maybe. Um, just a plain old. Honestly, I feel like that'd be cute though. Let's just see. I mean, that's probably the most realistic. Yeah, that's probably the most realistic item thing, is just having a, a literal, um, some bells for wishing. Ooh, that could be cute. I wanted to drop. I'm probably gonna have multiple wells on this island because farm core gotta have our gotta have our water, gotta have our irrigation. Also, hello, I'm terrible. Can we get a shout out for Chloe? I came in here a few minutes ago and I didn't even like say shout out for Chloe. Our little streamer bean icon. I need to cat. I'm terrible. I have not made it to one of your streams in forever. I really want to watch all of your. Is it a link to the past? You're you're playing. You're playing one of the older Zelda games. I know. Maybe I'm gonna do it a slightly off center, or do I want it to the left of the well? I feel like it's too tall and it's blocking the well and it's bothering me. Does that maybe look better? I don't know if I like it. Do I like it? I think I prefer it in front. Can you, can you pick it up? Okay, here we go. Hello, Clo, welcome in. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Okay, let me. What am I doing? Just the bucket. Okay, I don't know. Or maybe, let me try this. Wait, okay, let's move this tree back one. Just finished work, awesome. Do you have to work again tomorrow or is it like your weekend now? Oh, I like that. I think this arrangement. Can I do links if I'm not a mod? You should be able to. Um, 
because you are a VIP. I guess we'll find out if if the if if the bot destroys you. Off for three days. Oh my gosh, exciting. Enjoy. Enjoy your days off. Big hype. Okay, I actually need to get I still have to stunt the trees. I'm like the one thing, the one thing that I wish I did have with modding, but we don't. Can they please just let us stunt trees? They should just make it a thing, like. I know, I know in like New Leaf they had fertilizer that you could use and it would make like plants like more likely to like breed flowers or stuff. They should do a thing that's like the opposite of, whatever the opposite of fertilizer would be. Like anti uh, fertilizer and then it permanently stunts your trees the way they are. Here, and then let's put the tree back. I think I like that. This is looking so cute. This is also, it's interesting. I feel like this is one of the most neutral colored islands I've ever done. I mean, obviously it's very purple, but I usually go way more color than this. So it's kind of fun, tr you know, getting outside the box, kind of pushing myself out of my comfort zone. I love the purple. I know, I feel like purple is just such a pretty. I've seen a couple people do like purple themed islands and they're always just one of the most underrated colors I feel like. Cause like more often I feel like you see like a pink island or you know, all neutrals or whites or greens. So I really love, yeah, I want purple. I am using mods. Yeah, I have my hair and my ears are mods and then obviously the tree here is a mod and yeah I have some other little items that I've been messing around with I don't know part of me is like feeling like should I just be really lazy and put some weeds down although it might look nice maybe I could also push myself like instead of being crazy and like filling every single tile I could like leave some tiles oh I didn't organize these at all oh that's gonna drive me insane I'm like where's all my let me just move these around so that all of the little stumps are like together. Like maybe just like some codes. You can play this game without filling every single tile. Impossible, I know. Imagine not being psycho and literally filling your island to the point that it's so laggy that you don't want to play. No, I want to look. I have here. I have some like. I have flower mods and then mushroom mods. Let me look at those. The manhole cover. This is that different variations are different colors. So let's see if that's true or if my notes are wrong. I wanna see. That's nice. That's nice. Or are they all the same color? I think I lied and they're actually all the same color. Oh, no, those are a different color. Those are like beige. I like the white the best though. Okay, and these are kind of like a yellow. And then blue, okay. I personally gonna go with the white ones. I think those match the best. One very just purple and white and neutral. That would be really cute. Like, I'm gonna have to pick this up. Like, behind the well? I want more back. I know, I'm like, I need more just like crazy flower items. Okay, why is my computer, I don't know if you guys can hear bloops, but my computer is like, let's give you a million mail notifications. Like, I don't care. I don't want to check my email right now. Oh, like, isn't that so pretty? Oh, can I place it sideways or does that not, that probably doesn't work, huh? <gasps> Mind blown. 
think? Yes. <gasps> I'm gonna like go, I'm gonna like work on, oh my God, I just fucked up the flower. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna like go back to Peach tonight and I'm just gonna be dep depressed. Like I want these flowers. I still think non-modded is very beautiful. I feel like I kind of think about it the mods, it's kind of like the same as like playing The Sims or like Stardew. Like some people like to do The Sims with like no custom content, base game only. Some people like to do like a ton of custom content. Um, sometimes they want like the CC that makes it look like crazy, like hyper photorealistic. Some people like, I like to, we usually with The Sims and then like with the mods I've been downloading, I'm trying to pick ones that still look like they could be real. Like this could be a real item in Animal Crossing. The, the the house thing, the giant cottage thing, which I or I accidentally deleted the shoes, oops. That probably is a little too detailed to like actually be a thing in Animal Crossing, but I'm still using it cause it's cute. But yeah, you know what I mean? Like I, I want it to look good, but it's still like, you know, like, like it can look good without mods. Like sometimes I see Sims builds that are like no custom content and they look amazing or like Stardew Valley. Uh, farms that have nothing on them and they look good so I feel like yeah I see a lot of people who are like oh I'm depressed that I don't have mods and I'm like it's sad but also your island can still be perfect um how would a DA work uh would non-modded switches be able to visit um the model swaps won't work so like if you were to visit my dream address, you would not be able to see this tree. It would just be like sandals. Um, but some of the other modded stuff would work. Like you would be able to see the rocks like this and like the beaches would look weird. Um, but most people don't do dream addresses for modded islands and I'm not gonna be doing dream addresses just because people like to be mean and report that the islands and then Nintendo, uh, attacks you and it's like you can't have a you can't have a dream address you can't have any internet services yeah it's really sad it would have to be like or if you visited my island you would look like it would look ridiculous um because like none of this would would look right oh shep has joined us little pupper ciao ba 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 you're so cute also this is a french island you should be saying bonjour not yeah just be shoes and fish models literally um i did have a while back um someone visited my island and i was laughing because they were wearing the shoes they were wearing replaced the gingerbread man item remember those massive gingerbread men that i had on eggnog that were like terrifying so they walked into my island and they just had like a giant gingerbread man like floating on top of them it's like I maybe still, you know, I maybe still have the photo. Let me look really quick. It was, um, I think I still have it. And I was like, what the hell is going on? Yes. Is this not the most cursed thing? <laughs> it was so cursed. And then, yeah, I was like, I was like, oh my God, you look ridiculous. But then they were messaging me like, no, you look ridiculous because like the elf ears are actually like, the sparkly eyeglasses. So I looked like I had that on. And then the elf outfit was like the jester outfit. So I literally was in a clown suit with like the kawaii glasses. And they were like, what the fuck? <laughs> so yeah, that, that was that was an experience. I should use the freaking some of the Lily of the Valley. Super sleepy, some lurky. So amazing. Thank you, Chloe. Yes, go sleep go rest up i know it's like late uh for a lot of you um which i'm just i'm eternally angry at time zones for existing eternally angry that we're not just all living at the same time wait no is it or is it called jacob's Lo what do they call it in this game isn't it lily of the valley where is it lily of is it hyphenated? Li oh, Lily of the Valley plant with hyphens. Okay, that, they're making it too, it's too much for my little brain. But yeah, go get some sleep, have good dreams. And I will see you around.
Okay, I think those flowers look really pretty too here. Also, let me turn my map off. I don't know why it's even on. Oh my god, Shep, you're precious. Oh, wait. Shep, why are you perfect? This, uh, this area is not even done being decorated, but I need a photo. He's so cute. He was another beloved villager from New Leaf. I just like the smugs. Honestly, I feel like I love so many of the smug villagers. He's so cute. Oh my god, his little black toe beans. He's so cute. You're so cute. I love you. Power meditation. Maybe I should put the book here. Would this be cute? Or should I wait until I have like, maybe I should wait until I have like a proper, like a proper picnic area. But I'm like, I don't want something right here. I need like a dropped item or something. Or a little, wait, I was gonna look up, I have mushrooms. I have like a mushroom mod. I wanna see what they actually look like compared to like, um, red beaded sandals. Okay, I wanna see what they look like in comparison to just like the in-game mushroom stool. I know the I know mushroom items might not be the most like farm core, but I'm sorry. I like physically cannot make an island that is not just full of mushroom items. Like it's just my favorite thing. There must be mushrooms everywhere. Those are just sandals. Hello. It said the red beaded. Are these ones the red beaded sandals? Are you red? I, these look purple to me. <gasps> Okay, okay, those are cute. Little babies. I think those mixed with the regular mush stool though would be very nice. Yeah, I'm sorry, I have to have mushrooms on this island. I feel like it fits. You know, you're out in the countryside, there's just mushrooms growing everywhere. I just, I love me some mush items. Let me grab a couple. I should experiment with some of the brown mushroom variations. I never use the brown mushrooms. Yeah, I think I need a little picnic spot. I could even do that like over here at some point or even on the beach. I don't know what I'm doing with the beaches on this island. I'm like, mm. I suppose I could look up since this island is supposed to be kind of like south of France. I could look up what the beaches actually look like in the south of France uh, and try to do that. Oh, I don't know if I want it right there. I don't like the way it's like in the chair right here let's see mm. I also am feeling like maybe not the flowers on the right side like maybe if we did the let me try rotating it how does it look from different angles okay I feel like it really looks best from that front view Again, looking at this, this is another thing. I'm like, I think this is from The Sims. Those are like those little weird flat grass pieces and then the little mushrooms. Yeah, it seems very forest core. I might have them somewhere. I don't know. I definitely want mushrooms because it's like, don't they usually grow like, like they'll just grow in the soil if it's like really wet or whatever or something. <laughs> or if there's certain like minerals in the ground. <coughs> I definitely want some though. Or also it's like we're next to a well, so you know all the moisture maybe. Hmm. Should I do it back here maybe? No! <laughs> no, get off my feet. The struggle. I actually love it like right there, maybe. I think that looks really cute. Mm, that's very cute. And then let me just grab, do I have weed? There should be weeds somewhere on this island. Let me just pick up some weeds. Or maybe there's not. I know I picked up some earlier, but I don't have any like, oh yeah, there we go. Let me go grab some weeds. I think you could do, mushrooms they grow anywhere this patch of grass in my apartment complex that randomly sprouts mushrooms we have that too there's like a, a patch that yeah there'll be a ton i'm wondering i feel like someone's like dogs poop over there i don't know if that 
encourages them. But yeah, I'll probably do them more. Um... Hello. Okay, I finally heard the alert. There we go. Thank you for subscribing, tier one. Is this your first? Wait, is this your first one? A new sub with your little baby Peach. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Bean. Welcome to our little our little Peach Tree community. I mean, I know you've been here a while. Oh my god, he's just like, look at this tree. I know you've been here a while, but official welcome. You are too sweet. I yeah, and I need to still work on, yeah, and you have all your emotes now. I'm slowly working on, like, actually doing more emote designs. I don't want this one. I want a different one. Okay, that's cute. Yeah, maybe we'll just put some, some weeds here and there. That's cute. I need, like, something right here. A little something. Love your emotes. Thank you. Yeah, I'm working on... They were originally all watercolor and that's just it's just been too hard for me to do. So I'm trying to make them all digital now, um, which I'm also not great at digital art. So it's been a slow process, but <gasps> a little ladybug, how cute. Yeah, honestly, I just also wanna have just like a lot of weeds on this island, at least up front. Once we get to the more like farm areas, I don't want like weeds and, and mushrooms and stuff. I want it to look a little bit more like manicured and, and cared for. But this area can be more just like rustic overgrown. I need like a little something something right here. You know what? I think. I know I have some special bikes. Otherwise, I'll just do a regular bike. Let me see. Saddled. I never know how to say it. Be cheer. Bitcher. <laughs> Saddled bitch model. I don't know. I don't know what the I don't know what to call it. And what's the other white bike? Velour boots. Velour boots. Okay. Let's see how these look. They, they might look cute. Laced up front. Ooh, okay. So we've got like a black bike with some books in it. That's really cute. That would look good in front of, in front of Rodeo's house. Even though I'm probably going to redo his house a bit. I might still kind of keep it kind of dark. And then, oh, that, this one's a little more on point for up here. Is it too tall though? It might be too tall to put right in front here. Also, you know, it's too big, isn't it? I'm dumb. Wait, no, no, it'll fit because the shoes are only one. <clears throat> Wait, is this perfect? Is it too tall or is this perfect? Let's not have it in the... This is perfect. I kind of love it. I'm kind of obsessed. I know. I love all the little flowers. <clears throat> Which, speaking of, another one here. I think this is good. Oh, I like it. Okay, so we have our little entrance thingy done. <clears throat> Excuse me one sec. I love how I stream for like an hour and a half and I'm already losing my voice. I think that looks really good. I want one of those like wedding welcome signs to put in. Let me see. Why did you just sit down? Like did my did my thing just drift? Cause I did not, I did not touch it. Maybe she's becoming self-aware. The true danger of modding your switch is uh, they gain self-awareness. Wouldn't that be wild though? That'd be like a wild story idea. Your Animal Crossing character comes to life and for some reason they want to kill you. Okay. <laughs> a little welcome sign. This is so pretty. And then maybe like I have some mush lamps. Maybe a brown one self-aware characters and they're just they're angry they want revenge for some reason even though i spend all of my time building perfect beautiful islands for them 
Okay, yeah, and then turn that one off so it's brown. Is this not adorable? This is like a whole mood. Actually, let me scooch it back this way. And then I'll put just a little weed here. Very good. I know the cruiser bike is so cute. I'm just like Nintendo with the next Animal Crossing. I want them to put a lot of the Pocket Camp stuff in because we have stuff like this in Pocket Camp. And I'm like, why do we not have it? I'm like, give me. Gib. Okay, let's put a tree. I also need to start thinking, yeah, we're getting close into the realm of of where Rodeo's house is. So I need to, oops, I need to think like, what do I want to do with his yard? Since it is farming, I figure everyone's gonna have a little garden. So he'll probably grow some sort of a crop. Let me do a large young hardwood. And then a real big cedar tree here. That could be cute. I don't have a cedar tree. Amazing. Let me see. Cedar tree. But yeah, I'm like, he needs some sort of a, I mean, Shever and Dan are gonna have a lavender field. Shep is over on the beach, so I need to do something that would work like for being on a beach. He might have a fishing area. I don't know, do dogs eat fish? Do they like fish? He might have a, he might have a fishing spot. Also, like, I feel like I should have fruit trees, but I don't know what kind of fruit trees would even work on an island like this. Like, maybe a pear tree? I never do the pear trees. Let's give it a try. Shep runs the marina for my island. I'm like, sh should that just be Shep's new personality? He just, he likes fish. I kind of like, you know, just cause the pears are very neutral, they kind of match the trees. I could see Shep as a little sailor. Oh my God, wait, that's so cute. And that probably would kind of fit the like South of France theme. I'm sure they do hella fishing and stuff. He could have some little, yeah, he could have a, just a bunch of yachts and rocks over here. Um, and he does have a little dock over here. Oh, that'd be really cute maybe. Yeah, so I'm like, what would Rodeo want? Let me let me go in his house and say hello. We're gonna do some scouting. It's also fun because sometimes when you go in their house, if they're using an item that you've like swapped out, sometimes there's just like random shit in their house. Okay, this looks normal. This is not what I pictured for him. This is like so, so like nice and sleek and modern. This looks like a really nice like like your first apartment, like you just graduated from college with your business degree and you get your fancy apartment and you're so excited for life and then you just fall into debt because your business degree isn't doing anything for you. And then you just move to a farm in the countryside. <laughs> is, he a is he a judge? No, maybe he got a law degree. Is that the thing? Maybe he's a frick, maybe he's a lawyer. Disgruntled lawyer who quits his who, who um, his dad wanted him to be a lawyer and he did the whole thing. No, wait, he knew, he heard, he heard us. They're self-aware, oh God. Um, a graduation gown. Well, that still, that still fits with what I was saying. He, he just graduated, exactly. This is his first apartment out of college and he's trying to figure his shit out and he's not doing so swell. Um, Cause he lives in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, okay, so this gives me absolutely zero inspiration for what to put in his yard. What would a disgruntled college student who has an insane amount of debt um, and no job, what would they put in their yard? Other than nothing because they're broke. I suppose at the very least, I'm like, should it be fenced? I feel like he should have his own little private fenced in property. Maybe, I think I did a thing too to make the fences a different color. Let me actually see. I don't remember which fence I did. Is this one the one? 
I don't know if that looks different or if that's normal, but I like the colors, so we're, we're gonna do it. Yeah, he's, yeah, I know. Like, he does look like he could be a little judge. He could be a little, I don't know what. But he's also lazy. Okay, I do actually really like this fencing. It's very, definitely gives farm vibes. And you like get at your shovel. Okay, fine. <laughs> I was like trying to click the button. I forget that when you have the, the fence building, you can't just switch tools like automatically, which is always so weird to me. Yeah, I'm like, maybe, I think it is a bit darker. It is a little darker. I'm like, I, I'm pretty sure this was the one that I did download a mod for. So, okay, it is a little darker. Cause yeah, I'm trying to, I really like that kind of like, almost like muted grayish toned wood. I wanted to do a lot of that. Yeah, it's more yellowy, I think. Do you know what? Yeah, I probably did. back a little farther I was just, this is what movie is this song from this is a Ghibli song is this Totoro or is this the forest spirit is the title I think this is Totoro I'm pretty sure I'm like I know a Ghibli when I hear it you know what? No, let me just push this back. Yeah, I know some of the things you can't customize in this game. Like, hello. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, I was like, I think this is Totoro. Let me move over the the little stunted tree so I can have the fence look a little better. Okay, so he has his own, <clears throat> he has a little yard. He could have like a little garden. He could have a little farm moment. Ooh, you know what I want to do? I'm going to see if I can put a tree right there where that hole is. <clears throat> With the modding. What do I do? Map dropper? Okay, yeah, I was like, I think that's the one. Hopefully it doesn't crash my game. Sometimes my game crashes a little bit when I do the... Okay, so we're gonna do a big hardwood tree right behind the fence. Let's see. Placed furniture. Uh, let's attempt this, okay. I don't know if I have to do anything. I think if I go in and out of a building, it should refresh. Let me see. Let's go find out. Yeah, I tried to add um, some new music to this playlist of mine. Oh yeah, I've never been in here, hi. Um, and Nan is here, hi. I Oh, have I met you good? I was like, have I not talked to like anyone on this island? Um, well, I don't want to buy any of this, so goodbye. Yeah, I'm trying to add a little bit more just because I feel like it's the same three songs every time when I stream. Okay, let's see. Is it there? Oh, that's it. Ah, what the fuck? That is not what I was expecting. Hello? Why was it like that? What the fuck? How do you, I know there's a way to place trees. What? Oh my Lord. I don't know what, it was tiny and I picked it up. That was a little, that was something else. How do I, let me attempt this again. Hardwood tree. 
Should it be, oh, should I have it set to be a buried item? Because you technically bury the trees? Is that how we're supposed to be? I don't know. We're gonna try again. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. That was kind of chaotic. Okay, also guys, I'm getting kind of hungry, but I like don't really have food in the house. And I'm like contemplating if I want to order food, which I always feel really guilty when I order takeout food. Oh my God, now it's actually physically a buried item. And again with the weird fucking mini tree. That's not what I wanted. Ah, okay. Um, let me try again. Should it just be a dropped item? Let me just do the, the basic dropped item. I thought that was too... Too obvious. Not me spending 20 minutes trying to place one tree. Yeah, I'm like, I kind of want to order food because I don't want to really cook anything. I mean, I could cook like after stream, but also what if I want to eat during stream? Like, I'm hungry. Maybe I'll be bad and... Why? Okay, you know, I'm just going to give up for now. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Fine, I'll have to mess with it later. I will just put the tree here since this game apparently doesn't like me. Whatever. Okay, let's... Okay, there's also a lot of regular trees here. <clears throat> Maybe I want a cedar tree. Also, you know what? Let's do it a little farther back. Let's... I just want a little more variation. <sighs> Why are you doing this to me? What do you mean there's no room? There's like definitely room. Am I gonna have to put it all the way freaking back here? <sighs> okay, you know what? Actually, let me look at the, the, the map. What does it say on this? Refresh. I'm like, what does it say? Full grown. Copy item. Yeah, it says flag zero. So shouldn't it be? I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm experimenting. But yeah, Loki tempted to order Taco Bell. And dude, I feel like I've had Taco Bell multiple times this week, though. But it's just so easy and it's cheap. I could just have like a quesadilla. Plus those are easy to eat on stream. Okay, this is the last, I swear this is the last time I'm trying to get this to work. Well, the tree's big now, but it's on the roof. So that's fun. This is fine. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh my God. Okay, um, well not that one. Oh my god, please don't crash. Okay, thank you. Delete, delete, delete. What? No, I wanted to mess with this. Oh my lord. Okay, yeah. What a time. What a time it's been. Okay, um. Let's like just focus on something else for a minute. <laughs> Let me not do that. <clears throat> let's just focus on actually placing items my brain is starting to go like turn to mush i'm like oh my god what the fuck am i doing um, okay yeah let's like let's do us some terraforming rest in peace hair that's about to get fucked up well this is still a cute hairdo yeah this is the hairstyle underneath Let's give him a little, a little, he needs to have a little garden patch. But yeah, what kind of crops should he grow? Is he going to maybe do potatoes? Is he going to be a potato farmer? Can I not put one here? Okay, I hate it. Um, 
Very rude. Little potato patch. Like, I feel like I'm being way too strategic about it. But I'm like, yeah, like someone has to have like pumpkins. Someone can have <clears throat> tomatoes. Okay, let me put a little blankie under his door. My favorite thing I always do. Is his house off? Maybe his house is off center. I think it's a half tile forward, actually. That would explain why I'm having issues placing things around it. This is very chaotic, so I'll have to mess with his house. <clears throat> you know what? Let me... Let me real quick. Ugh, you know what? I'll fix that in a minute. Maybe if I go on a break in a bit, I'll, I'll do it. <clears throat> Let's go back to just decorating. I want to put a little baby tree. I just want to have all these little tiny plants everywhere. Okay, you're a little too small. Medium young. That's probably better. There we go. And then let's see. You know what? Maybe I'll just hop on a quick break right now. I think I do want to order Taco Bell. And then I can grab something cold to drink. Or I'll just get a soda. You know what? No. If I wait 15 minutes, then it's happy hour at Taco Bell. And I can get a soda for a dollar. So I'm going to wait 15 minutes. <laughs> and then I'll take a break and order food. I'm going to be stubborn. We'll just work on placing some plants and stuff until then. Making it look all cutesy. See, I have all these mushrooms and trees in my pockets. I'm like, I need to put these somewhere. Here's another mushroom lamp. Yeah, and then when I do pop on a break, I might mess with his house a little bit. And then I kind of want to grab a bridge from Res Services to place here. Gonna be in and out of lurking because I'm doing some chores. You do that, Zoe. Enjoy your lurk. Get them chores done. I'm gonna have to start wiping these up too, all these codes, because I kind of want to decorate over here. Let me start just picking everything up. Yeah, because I want to connect the path over here. And yeah, maybe I'll do a little picnic spot right up front here. That could be really fun. Or I could even put it on the beach. I could be I could be real wild and actually decorate my beach instead of leaving it to the end, as I sometimes do. Okay, I probably won't. I want to get the bridge placed. I want to make sure that there's room and that the, the river is terraformed properly. So let's go grab a bridge kit. And then I can kind of visualize where the path will be better. I need to put in a flag design too. I have one that I downloaded that I think I want to use because I can't be bothered to make my own. Mm-hmm, I, yep, mm-hmm, I know, Isabel. Um, discuss, review island features. I don't even know what the town tune is on my island. It's a little dated. Yeah, it is. Let's do this one. I love how excited Isabel gets. I'm good. And then, do I have pocket space? Okay, good. Let's grab us a bridge kit. <clears throat> Let's talk infrastructure. About bridges and inclines. Let's build a bridge. Okay, let's see. So we have all these basic ones. I do also have a mod to make the brick bridge brown, but I don't know if I really want a brick bridge. 
on this island, at least not right here. Maybe in a different spot. I honestly just want to go for the flat wooden. It's my favorite. It's gonna suit the color scheme really well. I, I, I think it'll look good. Okay, let me just grab some money. I don't even remember how much I needed for that bridge. Let me just grab a chunk. All right, and then we'll we'll see if it places. I think the river should be wide enough, but I'm not I'm not positive. It did look kind of skinny. I feel like I usually make the rivers like massive. A little Casper has been sleeping this whole time. I need a freaking cat cam. I need to do that. I need to make that a thing because he likes sitting there when I'm at, when I'm at my desk. He just curls up on the floor there. Ugh. He's so cute. He's so sweet. I was always like, oh, I'm jealous of streamers who like their pets sit in one spot because I feel like Casper usually doesn't hang out with me when I stream. But lately he's just obsessed. Oh, yeah. See, it might not be big enough. Yeah, you know what? I think it needs to be a little bit thicker. So let's do that. I might need to adjust on the other side too. I might just like make it ridiculously big and then I can clean it up. It was always so hard trying to place a diagonal bridge. now can I place it now are you working Ooh, okay let me imagine it oh I like that oh yeah that's cute that's cute I'll have to do a little landscaping how so what are we removing I don't know what they're removing whatever do what you do I'm just gonna landscape it back help here you go donate all right the first bridge of the island okay yeah i think i like how this looks on this side this definitely is too big though we're gonna make the river a little more windy twisty here I want to experiment with doing a lot skinnier rivers. Like I'm gonna have some spots where they're thin enough that you can just like hop over them and like I don't actually have like a proper um, like bridge or anything. So I think that'd be fun. Yeah, I'm like, oh, but I want to put a picnic spot here, but it's like, this is such a big chunk of land here. I feel like I should have like a build there, like something properly done. Also, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to redo this pathing. Path Does not line up at all. Thinking another tree. I feel like I wanna put a little bench over here. So you have a little bench to sit on like next to the, next to the bridge. What kind, maybe one of the swinging benches or if I should just do a rock one, let's see. Oh, Becky came out. Uh, Becky. Oh my gosh, girl. I actually really love her. She's just like, she's just that bitch. She is Becky with the good hair. Okay. And I love she's in like a little Renaissance gown. The outfits on this island. Chicklet. Oh my gosh. I'll alphabetize my purse collection. Okay, have fun. Yeah, all the outfits. I'm gonna need to like gift some clothing to these villagers. I could even try to f do that really quick. Can I, wait, can I even give her a gift? Does she like me? Are we friends? I don't know if we're friends. I'm probably not friends with anyone actually. Okay, yeah, she don't like me. Hope it lasts until Thursday. Although I think I can actually just make them my friends. <laughs> I think I could do that with mods. I could say, 
We're gonna max it. We're gonna just max it out with everyone. Okay, I wanna see, are we suddenly friends or does it take time? Okay, yeah, no. Okay, let me leave her alone. She's gonna get annoyed with me. She's like, can you go away? Can you leave me alone? But yeah, I can't wait to do her yard. I'm gonna do like a chicken coop moment over here. It's gonna be so cute. Okay, but anyways, back to this. I think I like this swinging bench here. I think it's really cute. And then let's just do shovel, hello? There we go. Wait, what? Oh my God, I didn't think it was gonna let me dig there. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, why not? Okay, very cute. Bro, I don't know. I wish I could place it off center. Like, I wish I could do it, like, right here. But I don't know if there's a way I can do that. Hmm. Maybe I want a taller flower. Well, I mean, I suppose I could move this over. That looks fine. Have that be off center then. And then maybe, let's see. I have these little... Planks. I could put some of these plank codes to make it look like they're just leading up to the bench here. Okay, that's really cute. I love that. And then probably do another little flower here. Maybe like I need another I need some more white cosmos. I need a refill. I can't really do all this <clears throat> dirt pathing until I can obviously see how this is going to look, but I'm going to like wind and twist around. Oh my god, Shep, you're adorable. The way that I want all these villagers like on my main island now, because they're all so cute. Maybe I want to put... Do I have a grass code? I don't think I do. This is like one of the first islands I've done that I don't have a grass code. I forgot I downloaded all of these. These stairs, I honestly don't know. <clears throat> Why am I losing my voice? Oh my God. I don't know if I'm gonna really use these, so maybe I would get a grass path. Holy crap, genuinely just losing my voice. Literally my body is like, oh, you, you're streaming for one day. Instantly lose your voice. I was like thinking the other day, I used to stream like, three days a week how did I do that I was like so powerful <laughs> I had so much energy and that's when I was like stuck at home from from COVID and miserable and depressed all the time I'm like how was I how did I have energy who was I I don't I don't even know okay I love it I think I actually want the planks to go the stick out on the other side because I think it's gonna be too close to the bridge. So like I'll have it like this. And then it can kind of go behind the tree. So it'll look like it just grew up through the tree almost. Or the tree grew up through the thing. Through the planks. Okay, that's very cute. I feel like I need something under here though. Should I just, maybe I'll just make it symmetrical. I always feel like I don't like having them lined up right. I like them being a little more off centered, but maybe that'll just make my life easier. Let's see. I think that looks way better, honestly. Let's just do that and then we can have a little leaf here. And then I wanna do some of those crazy flowers back here. That did not place the correct direction at all. How do I do this? Maybe I won't be placing them. 
manhole cover. Okay, that's the right way, but I'm gonna go over a little bit. This is turning out really cute. Thank you, Zoli. Yeah, I'm excited. I've been so freaking excited to start this island. Start decorating. Okay, I think that looks cute. I can probably still put something right here though. Yes, okay, I'm just gonna put a bush. I don't have a bush. I just like that you can shove everything in like so close together. Let's see, I might try it. Let's see what the tea olive looks like. I don't think that'd be in, in bloom right now anyways. Okay, just like a different, I don't wanna have too many of the same colors of green. I know, yeah, I'm like, it's literally two o'clock, which yeah, I think I will probably, once I place an item, once I get this thing, whatever I'm, a, I don't know what I'm putting here, but I wanna put something here. Does that look cute? I think I need something a little taller. Maybe the stool. I think I will take a, a little break. Oh my god, Shep! Little Sheppy Poo, you're so cute. Oh wait, I want a photo of us. Oh Shep! Yay. Okay, and then one just with him because I look a little silly. Oh, he's so cute. Toby is zoomy right now. Just brought me a hair tie to throw, little baby. Such an angel. Yeah, Casper was insane this morning. I mean, he's just calmed down now. But I think, yeah, it's we're almost at two hours as well, um, which I was planning on going like three to four hours. So we're basically halfway through slash almost totally done if I only go three hours. But yeah, I'm going to hop on a break. I want to grab a snack um, and something to drink, maybe some water. Um, so everyone, go, go stretch, go rest your eyes a little bit, and I'll be back shortly.
Thank you. Hope you got some stretches in. Um, I got some water. I snuggled with my cat. Oh, look at the flag. That's so cute. I love it. Snuggled with my kitty a little bit. So I'm definitely feeling good. I am freaking starving, but I ordered my Taco Bell and they're on their way with it. Although I'm a little mad. I waited until two o'clock because they have a happy hour where their medium drinks are only a dollar between two and five. I guess they don't do that on the DoorDash app because it was not a dollar. So I'm a little bummed. But whatever, it's fine. Also, yes, while I was on break, I did also, I moved because this ha Okay, I'm also walking through it, that's fine. 
his house was off center, so I moved it with the modding software, and then now I'm like manually going to place it here so that it's not like, it's like off centered. <gasps> oh my gosh, wait, it still thinks his house is here. Okay, so I guess I'm not moving his house. I will move forward a day and then move it again and then move forward another day. Here, I thought I was being so, so clever. I know I'm a ghost. Ghost Sophie, for real. You know, I, I named my cat Casper because, you, you know, he's the ghost, but really... Which he was all snuggled up here and I was gonna, I was in his, he was snuggled up in a little box and I was gonna pick him up, but he's now sitting in the window, but he loves sitting in the window and just looking outside, so I don't want to bother him. Yes, Nan is working hard, keeping resident services tidy. She's like, this bitch will like show up and then not come for like a week or two. Casper Illuminati confirmed. Is Casper, Casper is a member of your, your, your secret cult. You know, we had the, we had the Illuminesi. He's the secret, uh, overlord of the Illuminesi. Even though I don't think I, I don't think I even had him when we had that, that joke going, but do I still have, I was going to say, do I still have your emotes? I do not. I don't. I don't have your emotes, but I'm like, I want to use the, the flaming Illuminesi one. Here, best I can just do is, best one I can do is just flurry shaking with a knife. Hail Casper. He truly is our little king. Maybe I can make, oh, you, well, now you have them. I have my little, my little, uh, Kappamon cat down in the corner. This little dude. I don't know if y'all even know this, this little man. Let me put him back where he was. I should have him say like creepy shit. Like if you if you mention like Illuminati, he'll be like, <gasps> like he'll ha he'll do something funny or like, cause you can make them uh, react to different words. Like I think I have it set up. If you say cry, he cries. Yeah. <laughs> um, or I think if you say sleep or sleepy, then he go. Yeah, he he takes a nap. So I'm like, I should have him react. Like whenever you mention like arson or or the illuminati or anything kind of sus he can like react <laughs> okay do i still have his house kit i do i wasn't sure if house kits would stay in your pockets there we go oh wait no 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 i want to move it back a little more i think is this how it was i think this is how i had it it's probably gonna knock that tree out though which makes me sad after I spent like 10 years trying to place that stupid tree. Oh, wait. <gasps> oh, come on. Also, no, I was like, is it off? If I, is it like on a half tile? I was like, what? No, it's fine. I'm just, I'm just kind of tripping. Okay, let's go look at our bridge because the bridge should be built. Oh, wait. Okay, you know what? I was wondering with the bushes if they just weren't blooming. That is, oh. Oops, that is the case. Okay, so the azaleas are gonna bloom. So I'm gonna wanna swap out all the azaleas because I don't want, they're too pink for this island. So I'm gonna have to go through and, and dig up all of these azalea bushes I planted because yeah, I don't want pink flowers. They look cute, it's just tiny little buds. If I could just keep them this size, with the baby little buds, that'd be cute. Oh, and the bridge looks really cute. I like that. I like that a lot. I thought it looked like it was gonna be way too close. Also, I need to keep an eye on my my food order. Ugh, why are they like going the, ugh, are they gonna go the long, I, I hate, I just like watch the DoorDash drivers and sometimes they go the way long ass way around. I'm like, my food's gonna be cold. Whatever, honestly, I don't care if my food is cold at this point, I just want food. I got a chicken quesadilla. I ordered from Taco Bell. Um, so I got a chicken quesadilla, my beloved. And then I got a cheesy bean and rice burrito because I wanted like another little item and they're not too big and they're also cheap. So I like that. Um, and then I, I got suckered in. I was originally just gonna get a Baja Blast to drink, 
but they were advertising a new Fleas they have, uh, which are like their slushies. Um, I know there's not talk, then some people don't know Taco Bell. It's not, I feel like it's not a big thing outside of the US, so. But um, <clears throat> it said it was like wild cherry and sour strawberry swirl, which I've had their wild cherry before and it's really good. Um, so we'll see how, how that, how that tastes. It's probably gonna be so much sugar. I'm gonna be like bouncing off the walls, but. Ooh, making a tuna melt, yes. We got you, we got you, obsessed. I should try doing that. My thing is I do actually like, oh my God, no, they are going the long way around. I'm like looking, I'm like, no, you dummy. Why are you going all the way? Ugh. We had for a while, there was actually a shitload of construction on the corner, conveniently right next to my apartment. And it was like two months they had the roads blocked off. So for a while they had to go the long way around, but they actually just cleared it up finally. I'm so excited. It's been like, honestly, every time I have to leave the apartment, it's miserable because there's just, it's, they, they make, basically it merges from three lanes down to one right next to my apartment. Um, so there's always a giant lineup of cars right in front of our building and then they don't want to um, They don't want to let you in and it's just oh, it's miserable, but it's all cleared up now So I don't know why he's going on the way around. Well, uh, whatever I'm gonna eat it at whatever temperature it is Let's see put it in the oven. Yeah, I feel like toasting your cheese in the oven. It's gonna get like crispier but Toast my bread and I'm heating it in a covered pan to melt the cheese. You know what you could, I wonder if it would work. You know those people who do like, like for a while it was really trendy, like the keto thing where you would just sprinkle cheese in the pan and then that's basically like your tortilla. Like, and then people would like crack like eggs on top of it to make like scrambled eggs or you'd put your, your sandwich meat. I wonder if that would work if you could just straight up put the cheese in the pan. But it would depend on the kind of cheese. I feel like you have to have like a yellow cheese for that to work. Well, I guess a tuna melt would be good. What do you normally put on a tuna melt? My mind is thinking like a white cheese, but if you're using real cheese too, you have been corrupted. We've turned you back to the dark side. Chicky parm, oh my gosh. That sounds amazing. I have not had a good chicken parmesan in forever. You know what I actually want this? Colby Jack and add a tomato. Ooh. I kind of do like the idea of having the fence open here so you can kind of sneak through. It could be like a little sneaky back, a back way. Why didn't his house move? What do you mean why didn't his house move? It did move, it's right here. I moved, I, maybe you didn't see, I moved it down onto the beach and then I was gonna move it back, but then it wasn't letting me. But now it's here and it's placed properly. Yeah, see, it was like a half tile forward before, so it's being weird. So it did move, we're good now. Took a little time traveling, but. You're thinking too much about food. You're fine. You are fine. Honestly, that is me. No, yeah, I'm, we're having a, my sister, uh, other sister Cass was not in the chat so I can talk shit about her. <laughs> She's gonna be cooking a dinner tonight. I'm very curious to see because she doesn't cook a lot. So I'm curious to see how it turns out. Also, hello, I see Becky is singing. <gasps> Hi, I love you. The way, the way when the chickens sing, how their beaks are like, like they curve. It's so funny. I love her. She's honestly so cute. The chicken villagers, underrated. <laughs> okay, so. Now my question is, can I actually put a spot of dirt down to do another row? Because I'd really like to have another row of dirt. It just looks very small. I know I probably can't, you know what I probably should? Yeah, I was like, I should be able to put a crop right there. I should be able to put some potato plants right here. Okay, and then, yeah, if I just plant a couple potatoes, that should probably look really cute. 
Let's see, I just need to actually get said potatoes. I don't know how it works to do the... Okay, ripe potato plant. Now the question is, are they gonna be fully grown? Is it randomized? I have no idea, let's see. Will they all be three? Okay, that one just has one. Also, I don't need a fifth. Okay, so I think they're all just gonna have a single potato, but that's fine. I can always try to pick some and then regrow some. Yeah, it's like, I know, I'm really sad that we haven't gotten more items either, but also it's like they said last major update. So that made us all think we're gonna get little updates here and there, but they haven't done literally anything other than maybe like, I think there was maybe one or two small updates for bug fixes, but that doesn't count. I'm like, that definitely is not a real update if you're just gonna tidy up the game. Or like, I'm sad. Yeah, they didn't do, did you guys notice they didn't do a new arch for 2023? Like there's the balloon arches. We didn't get a 2023 balloon arch. I'm like, okay, I guess we're done then. Oh my god, Becky's tiny little head in the distance. Yeah, I was kind of sad. I was like, I mean, I know that like, because I was like, oh, you know, I'm sure they're, Nintendo's busy. They're working on all sorts of other like projects right now, like other games. But I'm like, you can't even just give us a new arch? And yeah, I thought maybe we'd get another little one, but it's just seeming like it might not happen. I was hopeful like when Zelda final, when the new Zelda game comes out, I was like, oh, maybe they could give us like some Zelda items, but it'd be a little weird if they gave us that in an update, but then we didn't get like a new balloon arch. Like it seems like they're definitely done with the whole update thing. I'm trying to find, I need a watering can. If I'm gonna have these actually be, I want some of them to grow a little bigger at least one more big update yeah it, exactly it's like i know a lot of people and i've talked about it too are like already excited for the next game and like i'm thinking about it but i don't expect it for years i don't really want it for years you know i'm like i have so many other games i need to, I need to catch up on um but yeah it's like considering new leaf came out what 2012 i think it's 2012 japan 2013 rest of world that was seven years, basically, between that game and this game. So it could full well be another seven years. It could literally be till 2027. And I don't see them, I personally don't see them doing another big Animal Crossing game on the Switch. Because they usually it's just one game per console. I was like, oh, maybe if they do the Switch Pro, everyone keeps rumoring they'd maybe release an Animal Crossing for that. But like, I feel like the Switch Pro is like fake. Like it's it's just, I feel like it's just talk. Also like, who can afford to buy another Switch? They've already come out with so many different fancy Switch models. I'm being spoiled by playing Disney Dreamlight, but Disney's listening to its players. Yeah, that's really nice when they actually like take into consideration what people want. That is definitely really cool of them i mean i get like you know nintendo's like they kind of do their thing you know they don't really cater to the fans they're like this is our game either you like it or you don't but also it'd be nice if they yeah i think they do listen to us in a way because there's a lot of things like like back in the new leaf days um you couldn't you couldn't move houses and everybody would would mod so they could move houses and now that's just a part of the game. So I'm hoping they'll see like, what are the things we are trying to do with our games? Like, what do we want? What are the things we're adding? And if they would maybe take that in consideration for a future game, but it's still sad. It's like, why not this game? Hi, kitty. Hi. Oh my gosh, he's coming to sit in his little box. So I'm trying to listen. My food should be here like any minute. I should actually take my headphones off. I don't need to hear the music. I need to make sure I hear when they knock on my door. <gasps> Cause I need, I need my food. Okay, let's see. I know, I it's hard. I. Why does it look like he's leaving now? What? Where are you going? 
Are they leaving? It literally was supposed, I like, it gives the time estimate. It should have been delivered like 10 minutes ago. Like, what? And now it looks like he's get getting back onto. <laughs> I'm like, I want my food. Don't leave. Sir. It looks like he's parked in front of the. It looks like they're parked in front of the, like, the rental office. I'm like, they're probably trying to figure out where the fuck I am. It's like, just call me. They have that option. I don't know. I try to be understanding, but also I'm like, it literally, oh, thank God. Okay, they're heading the right way. I was like, it literally shows, if you look at the map, it shows exactly where my thing is. And it's actually labeled really well. I know sometimes it's like they might do it kind of vague, but like. I'm all paranoid now because my window's open. And I'm like, what if I'm like talking shit right when they walk by? As soon as I awkwardly watch my DoorDash driver go all over my apartment complex before they find my building. Oh God, okay, yeah, it looks like they're finally like coming to the right place. But now I'm like, yeah, I heard people outside and I was like, oh, I hope that's them. They usually come from the other way though. Cause yeah, it's like, my room is right next to like a walkway where people go by. So I'm always like, oh my God, what if people can hear me talking when I'm streaming? People listening in on our, our conversations. Okay, I am not doing anything. Can you do something? I think I want another stool maybe in his yard. I'm also toying with the idea of like, I don't know, barrels or, I don't know. Or you know, where's those cardboard boxes that look like potatoes? That could be cute. Or the boxes don't. I think I just heard a knock. I'm gonna go look. I'll be right back, guys. We got the goods. We got the goods. I love that my character is just like standing here and then I'm just gonna be like sitting here eating <laughs> and nothing's gonna be happening, but got the goods. Okay, I'm gonna just say though, this is full. I'm like, oh my God, I, I get paranoid. I'm like, what if they're like, what if they're like, I, I read a, I saw, I read an article and it said like 80% of DoorDash drivers admit that they've eaten bits of the food, but I can tell there's not been a straw in here. Also, thank you for the follow duck garden. I love your username. That's so cute. Yeah. Also. Okay. This, this was $4 and 80 cents and it's half full. The only reason I got it was I was a little tempted. Plus my order was like not expensive enough to qualify for the the free delivery so i was like oh let me just get a more expensive drink so yeah 480 for a partial empty cup maybe i can complain and get a re yeah i'm like maybe i can get a refund because i'm like i didn't spend five okay better taste it too let me taste it oh, that was really ziggy that is good though if you like like sour cherry, sour candy, that kind of flavor. Oh, that's good. Okay. I'm gonna eat the quesadilla first. And if I'm too full, I might leave the burrito for later. But I will probably eat all of it because this is who I am. 
Yeah, I usually do that. I don't do that too often. It's not often that I'm like angry enough that I really want to refund. Because I feel like I'm the kind of person I could always find something to complain about, but. Okay, hold on. Apologies that we're just sitting here watching me open a bag. I'm hungry. It's just awkward. I like streaming right around noon. Like, I feel like it's a good time for me and for people in other time zones, but then I get hungry, so I have to, like, eat during stream. And yeah, it's a, it's a time. Oh, if it's really wrong. Yeah, I literally like had a half empty drink. Yeah, but this isn't bad. I've had a couple lately though, like the most bizarre. I'm still traumatized. Well, the worst experience was that one time years ago, it was like a year ago, the, the four of us, we got pizza and they gave us a box of half-eaten half breadsticks in it and we were like what is this whose food is this why did you and it was like or no it was maybe two years ago i feel like it was like when covid was really bad and it was before there was a vaccine and we were like this is fucking gross like this is like not only is it rude and weird and nasty but like dude what if that person was like sick and then we like touched their like nasty ass half-eaten food like what the fuck like why are you why are you tampering with stuff but I also had an experience lately where I ordered Taco Bell and then the guy showed up with a Chipotle bag and I was like asking him I was like what like this isn't and he like didn't know what I was saying and then he just left and I was just standing there with my Chipotle bag and I was like this is not what I ordered yeah the half eat yeah the half eaten breadsticks literally I'm guessing you have a delay on your computer okay let me take a bite and then I'll get back to decorating Chicken quesadilla is just... Favorite item. Okay, yeah, literally. <laughs> the game is, like, going dark. It's like, bitch, play. Let's see, but yeah, so I want this to be a very, like, farmy looking yard. Can I push this any farther up? That's annoying. Well, I think technically with the modding, I should be able to. I'm like, let me look. Can I move it? Although, obviously, earlier we saw how long it took me to try to place that tree. Which I just realized the tree is gone. It did knock the tree out. It was great. <laughs> Can I place it here? Hello? Stool. Well, let me get rid of this one. Wooden stool variation. I want the white one. And then... The hard part is gonna be- Oh! 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 Okay. Um, yeah. So it, it just placed it. Wait, can I place it farther back? Ooh! Whoa! It's like honest, <laughs> the noises I'm making. That was so weird. <gasps> now, how do I put a watering can on top of it? I think, is it layer two? Why is it saying that there's a chainsaw floating on layer two? That's not terrifying. Did it do the thing? Did it place it? Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, cool. Okay, but now I'm gonna have to figure out how to get the other items to like disappear. I know I've seen some people who do mods, like they'll just walk out of frame and then they just disappear on their own. I don't know how people do that. I just have to keep going in and outside of houses, which is kind of obnoxious. But... Oh my god, Shep, your house is so cute. The shower's a little out of place, but this is a cute interior. I do want to redo all their houses, <clears throat> like with happy home stuff. Um, his house could probably stay pretty much the same though. That's cute. Um, hello. 
Hello. I obviously don't know what I'm doing. This is great. This is fine. Shh. Okay, what items do I have to place? In the meantime here. Okay, wait, what am I doing? Didn't I delete this? Delete. Okay, now my game's auto-saving, so it's gonna take forever. Let's look, layer two. There we go. Okay, now we should be all good. Okay, let me see. What is that? It's like car it's like a pile of cardboard boxes. Yeah, I want to do one of those. I like the one that looks like a potato. I forgot that that was a modded item. Um, <laughs> I guess I'm not using those. Damn it, wait. But I want to use those. Okay, I might have to delete that mod off my game because I kind of wanted to use them. Wait, are all the boxes, are all the cardboard boxes replaced? Oh wait, no, those are fine. Okay, I'll use those for now. That was so like, wait, what? I was like, that is not a box. It's like, hello? I want like a little like, I want to make this like a, si a secret side entry thing, but I don't really know, like, I don't want it this open. I want it a little more hidden. Also, you know what? I need to get rid of all these azalea bushes because I don't want pink bushes on this island. Let's see. Okay, and then there's another one. I also was thinking, so I might do actually over here just like some windmills. And then have like a picnic down here or next to the windmills. And then like, I might just have a lot of flowers. I don't know. I was trying to think of like what would be cute over there. Definitely trying to be more creative with my, my build ideas. Okay, let's pick bushes that are going to be out of season. Let's do like some hydrangea bushes maybe. Those should be out of season. <clears throat> so they're not going to bloom. Okay, and I love the color and the, the shape of the leaves. Are very cute. When I see there's another one up here, I'll place that one too. Let's see here. Okay. I'm like, do I want like a bush right here, maybe? So that it, it's more subtle, it looks like it's closed, but you can sneak through here. <clears throat> okay, and then maybe just some little flowers to kind of fill in over here. I need some more white flowers. Like a white. I haven't done any, like, I might want to have purple mums too. Obviously I'm doing mostly the, the purple hyacinth, but I want to do other things too. I don't need to be insane and do only hyacinths just because it's a lavender themed island, you know? Like maybe, let me replace some of these. <clears throat> Cause I do love some of the other purple flowers in this game. Some of them are so pretty. parasol oh that's perfect right there okay cute very nice and then yeah honestly we're just gonna put a lot of weeds everywhere too i need to experiment with some of the custom coats too though i have a handful of really cute custom designs that i've saved Maybe more of those leaves here. You know, maybe one more of those, or maybe just like a regular mushroom. Like, do I have a mush low stool? Yes, perfect. <clears throat> okay, Kihu. And then I love dropping the, the white, 
the white is it the flat mushroom no what are the white is it round mushroom yeah i love putting the white here the white mushrooms on top of the white mush log so it just looks like they're like growing like crazy okay yeah that's so cute i love that i'll pick this up because it's driving me crazy i could also just like drop some mushrooms like along the path randomly like one here could be really cute It's always so hard to place paths next to a diagonal bridge. And it's like the one thing I, oh my God, I struggle with it the most. Okay, and then let's connect this back. Cute little windy twisty pathway here. <clears throat> It's gonna be so cute. Let's see. Okay, cute. I love that. <clears throat> so let's see. I definitely want to finish. <clears throat> this little chunk right here. And then I don't know if I'll really get Rodeo's yard completely done. Oh my God, that's way too tiny. <laughs> too small, little baby. Let's do the medium young. Yeah, I don't want the tiny, tiny ones anymore. Okay. This is one of my Avatar songs. I'm rewatching Avatar right now and I am so obsessed. It's just like, I mean, I love the show and like, I know I love it, but it's also like, <clears throat> I forgot how good it is until I've been like rewatching it again. It's just so, it's just so good. Let's see. What would be cute like right here? I'm like, should I do... I haven't done any butterfly models. That could be fun. What's the, is it the purple? Great purple emperor model. Ooh, let's maybe use one of those right here and see. I forgot, I'm like literally butterfly models are one of my go-to items in this game. So pretty. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, yeah, I'll probably do that there. Maybe I could put some more up front here. I think one would be cute kind of over here. Okay, yeah, that's really cute. Oof. I need to blow my nose one second. Nose is running from all the spicy stuff. just stop by again oh baby i'm so glad he's like hanging out at, at your place again little babe oh my god it's like sticking to the paper Make it or not. So I'm like, I probably looked dumb when I answered the door for the food because I have a bunch of makeup on, which I love. You can't even see. I did purple eyeshadow underneath my eye. It kind of matches my sweater um, because purple. Um, and then I have this nice sweater on, but then I'm just wearing like flimsy little shorts. 
He jumped on top of the uh, outdoor house, which made it collapse. I'm okay wondering if he peed in the corner because it looks like a wet spot. There's some liquid on the house. Did he pee on the house? Oh my God. Crazy little man. But maybe is this his way of like marking his territory? Maybe he's like, oh, I like this. I'm, I'm gonna mark it to be mine. You know what I should get? I know I just got rid of all those little tiny trees. What if I could do like, maybe let me do one of the actual like cedar trees. I want a baby stump. Baby stump. He might have, he's peed on my patio before. Oh my gosh. He peed on top of the crate I bought for him. Crazy. You know, we all have our different love languages. You know, some people like to give people gifts. Some people um, pee on your patio. You know, it's it's just, it's all, we're all just a little different. <laughs> okay, is this adorable, the little baby? Ah, okay. I love it. I think I want to do some more of those little flower things again. Do I have baby stump i know it was i think it's the manhole cover item let's do that again see if i'm correct um i want it a little farther back that's in the exact same place as it was just a moment ago um i don't know if i it's quite let me let me see if I like it from this angle. I don't know if I'm feeling it. Maybe I'll try the mushroom. What was the mushroom item? I think it's the, I'm like trying to remember them because I hate having to check my list. I think it's the velour boots. The boots. Oh no, that was the, the bike. What is the, okay, let me just look. Mushrooms, where are you? Oh, it's the beaded sandals. There we go. I knew it was like some sort of a shoe. I don't remember I put them on by mistake. There we go. Oh my God, the baby stomp. It's like smaller than the little mushies. How precious is that? I kind of love that though. They're so cute and little. Like what should I put right in here? I have like a little, like I could put it like a two by two item, like something a little bit bigger. But I don't know what. Hmm. Also, he needs more to his yard than just this. This is a little sad. Can I put a flower here? I mean, I know I can if I, I do mods. I might mess with his yard actually off stream because I might want to... Um, I also want to play around with because I want... I do kind of want to put those, um, I almost said peanut butter. What, what is my brain doing? <laughs> the potato cardboard boxes, but I forgot I replaced those with a mod. Cause I was like, I won't need the cardboard boxes. And I'm like, but it's a, it's like a farm island. So it's kind of nice having that stuff. Hmm. What is this again? Is this the other bike? Yeah, I don't know if that's too much if I put another bike by his house. Like if I parked it, it could be kind of cute if I just parked a little bicycle. That could kind of fit with his whole, you know, graduated college student who's like failing with life. You know, he's got his old, he can't afford a car, so he's just the bicycle. <laughs> I'm like, this is definitely a mood. God, I don't like the way it's like, so angled though. Maybe I need it facing this other way here. Oh yeah, like that. This could be really cute. Hello? Oh, of course you won't let me push it more. Oh, pff, not into the bush. I think this is cute. You know what? Yeah, we'll do that. I think it's kinda it's kinda nice. Pretty. And then 
why did I, I just notice why did I plant an azalea here? I was trying to get rid of those. Or maybe I forgot to get rid of that one. I was like, did I plant that like that? Okay, there we go. And then let's see. Maybe I'll just do another dropped mushroom. I'm also thinking, I feel like my brain is running out of juice. I think I will probably wrap up right when we hit three hours. So just about like 15 minutes from now. We've gotten a lot done. Like this is looking so good. It was literally empty when we started uh, today. So I'm pretty happy with our progress. We're definitely moving along quickly. Ooh, would the bike look cute over here? side because if I could push it really close to the fence maybe I feel like this might be kind of cute I kind of like that although it is blocking the it does kind of block the path I don't know maybe the bike is not meant to be hi Casper hello hi Angel oh and he just jumped up in the window I was like, maybe I could show him on stream, but nope, he keeps running away. He's just in crazy boy mode today. Okay, yeah, I think I'll pause with this area for now and I'll kind of finagle around off stream. I don't know what to put right here. Like what would be cute? I'm like, do I have anything like that I have modded I could do? Or I'm like, do I do just like a little if I had like a water path code, I would do that, but I don't have water. Hmm. I could do, I don't know if I want to do a laundry area. I don't know, it's right by the entrance, so I'm like. Hmm. What would look good up here? I have no clue. Maybe that'll get left until a later date, too. And I'm like, I wanted the whole entrance done. But all my brain can think of is like, oh, just like start putting in more flowers. Which I suppose I could just do it really natural and fill it in with flowers, but I don't know, I wanna do something here. Like more, more special than just random nature-y things. My brain is like totally blank. I know there's like some pond, like, let me look what pond items we have. There's like the glowing moss pond. I don't know if that's really the vibe though. I could try a windmill. I know that's kind of big, but I want to do some of those on my island. Would that look good here? Is that going to be way too tall? Let's see. It's definitely very far. Ooh, maybe I like this here. Maybe I like the, the windmill up front here. It's kind of nice. I kind of dig it. Oh, I don't know if I want it like that. I kind of like it. It's kind of, yeah. And then I could maybe do like a, oh, or not. A little tree here. Medium young hardwood. Is that good? I don't want too many of the medium youngs. Oh, I need more of those cypress trees. So I could maybe tuck that in here. Here, let me move this. Can I push it closer? No! Oh my god, I can't move it any... And that's the wrong item. Oh wait, it's the shoes, duh. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know if I'm feeling it. Um, maybe it's not gonna work here. I don't know. I just feel like it's, it's just nothing wants to fit here. Nothing wants to cooperate with me right now. Hmm. And 
and there's not enough space for me to really terraform a proper pond. What other, literally what items exist in this game? The way that I can't think of anything right now. I'm like, let me just like scroll through, like see if I can get inspiration. I suppose I could just do a little sitting area. I could do a tie. I don't want to do like too many picnic blankets is the thing. Cause I feel like my instinct is to just put picnics everywhere. I'm like, I could do a tiny laundry spot. I kind of want to have somewhere on the island, like a, a bigger, more formal laundry spot, but there could be multiple. I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. I genuinely am not feeling anything. <clears throat> Okay, maybe I really am gonna have to leave the spot just plain for now. It drives me insane. Other than if I just say screw it and put a blanket here. Maybe I'll just, you know what? Maybe I'll just say fuck it and I'm gonna put a picnic blanket here even though I'm gonna have a picnic blanket like on the beach like two feet away from here. But whatever. We can have multiple picnics, you know. Sometimes I don't know uh, what to do with the spot either. Yeah, just leaving it blank just feels so um, unsatisfying. I'm like, no, I have to do something. I don't know if I like that one or if I want to do... This isn't really a blanket, though. This almost just looks like a rug. Okay, that's too tiny. Maybe I will do that other... I know, I'm always like, I don't know. And then I can finally use that stupid, like, book and teacup item that I've had in my pockets, like, this whole time. Because, yeah, I'll probably have, like, a big picnic area off to the right of this entrance, but I feel like it's meadowcore, you know? I feel like you have to have, like, 700 picnic spots. I'm like, hello, isn't this precious? It's too freaking pretty. I shouldn't overlap the blanket so much. I'm like, hmm. That's kind of cute. And then let's see, flower right here. Let's do what kind of flower? Okay, just another purple hyacinth. And then, or do I want to put it right on top of this little fabric here? <clears throat> so I think that's kind of the idea with the it's like oh there's an extra thing I don't know though I'm like I could put like a, a snack or something there too like let's see what's like a good like a scone or something um let's see ones are gonna look the pit. Let's just do plain scones and see if that looks cute set here. On top of this blanket. That's kind of cute. There's just a little area to sit and I don't know I feel like I hate it. <laughs> I hate it all. I was like what? I mean the blanket's not bad but I feel like I'm not just something about the placement of the book is like throwing me so off. And I'm just like, do I just do it like that? Like, or like this, dead center. <laughs> I am struggling too hard right now, oh my God. Kid, help me, what should I do? Give me your wisdom. Oh, look at them hang look at them hanging out. They're so cute. Mm. I like this here for sure. I need a couple more flowers real quick. 
crab. Go purple mom. And then maybe a purple hyacinth right in here. Me just ignoring the the really terrible area that I can't decorate. And just putting flowers over here instead. Yeah, I think once you get into here, I might do like a bunch of windmills over here. Um, and then yeah, just have like a very natural open beach. Maybe I don't mind this, maybe this is okay. Does this look okay maybe? Okay, where's like a picnic basket? I feel like I need a picnic basket to the rescue. Like, please help. Please save this build somehow. Like if I did this here and then a little, that's not the pick, here it is. That, or I could do it like this. Try to overlap it here. <clears throat> Patty Chan, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. I am having a brain fart. <laughs> My, I literally am just like, I don't know what to do here. I don't know. I feel like maybe the blanket, I feel like it's just not working. It's not, it's not the vibe. It's not... But then I'm like, what do I put here? Other than just like say screw it and just put another mush parasol because that's the only item I ever use when I have like a giant open spot. I feel like that'll be kind of like me giving up, but I'm like, Ugh. cause I don't wanna have too many mushroom things on this island. It's not meant to be like foresty mushy, but Ugh. It just works so well. It just always looks so good. The mush parasols never let me down, but then there's one here. Well, maybe I could take this one out and do the windmill item. That might look a little better. Yeah, that might look a little better. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll just do this. I'm just giving in, giving into my usual ways and just putting mushrooms everywhere. Do I still have a little mush stool maybe to put next to it? Very cute. I'm gonna move this flower though. And then I want it to be kind of like, oop, like that. Almost like overlapping it a bit. No, I think this was fine here. Let's drop a mushroom on it. And another flower. Let me put a bush here. Let's see. Hmm. Is this good? Is this, is this the look? Is this the mood? <clears throat> I feel like I'm just like, hmm. I think my brain is definitely, okay, yeah, we just hit three hours. I think it is time to call it a day because my brain has no juice left in it. I don't know what to do with any of these builds. <clears throat> but we have gotten so much done. Here, let me take my construction thing off. I wanna do a final walkthrough. I wanna take some photos as well. Um, I just realized I need to fix my my follow command. It just says peachy 45. That's not my emote name anymore. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. This is such a cute entrance. Let me try and do that hand out camera angle thingy. Oh my gosh, and then we're gonna get kid in the shot too. This will be so cute for the Instagrams. <laughs> I haven't posted in ages and I'm like, I need to actually like 
I want to keep up. Sometimes I'm really bad. Like when I start a new island like this, I never post and then I finish it and then I spam post like six different things. I want to do that. I want to take my time. This is so cute. Pop out of the way. Yeah, and then we did kind of get part of his yard. Definitely not done yet, but looking good. I just love this whole big round pathway thing. It's so fun. It makes such a nice little centerpiece. Like, how do I want to angle this? This is so cute. Okay, my ear is like going into the chair. Let me sit in the middle. Okay, very cute. Thank you all for hanging out today. This was so much fun. Um, I have seriously missed hanging out with you all so much. I've really missed dreaming. It's been way too long and I definitely do want to, you know, get back into it, play a little more often. I might be streaming next weekend, um, kind of like a belated B-Day celebration moment. So we'll just have to see. We'll have to see how... Oh, it's all going. Also, hello, I'm like all the way down here. Whenever I'm not sitting up, it's like my camera is like, I have to readjust it. Wanna watch the first build? Yeah, I definitely knew I wanted to either record the first build for YouTube or do it on stream. And I just thought maybe doing it on stream would be fun just to get the vibes. Oh my gosh, okay, hold on. I just saved and she's on the title screen singing. She's so cute, honestly. I just love getting to like see villagers that I normally wouldn't. She has been so freaking cute. But yeah, so I'm going to wrap up stream here. You hopefully might be seeing me next Saturday. Um, if not, you'll see me at some point. And yeah, I should have a new YouTube video up tomorrow as well. So you all have that to look forward to. Um, also, very cute Dream Island tour that I did. Um, but yeah, um, I don't think I'm going to do a raid because I'm tired and I haven't streamed in like two months and I don't remember what I'm doing. <laughs> so we're just going to wrap it up here. But thank you all again for hanging out. You're all the best. I love you all so much and have a wonderful rest of your days. And stay peachy. Bye.